Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indices and the tech stocks for Friday, November 14th, uh, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, we also have a service over at Patreon. You can find the link below where you can enter and join a group of over 60 traders at this point, and you will get access to our signal service and our full technical analysis for the commodities market. Um, so we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are trading at a low at 3,200 and the highs at 3,600. And at this point, we are expected for, we expect this market to turn around. The target for this market is the 50 moving average here. 3,400. That is basically the middle of this range. And that is most likely where we are going to go at this point. So there are many, many things that are going against the economy at this point. Of course, coronavirus numbers are absolutely horrifying in the United States. Uh, 100 and nearly 50,000 people were recorded getting uh, infected by the virus uh, for almost two consecutive days now. I don't know what the numbers are for Thursday, but uh, it is getting way out of control and uh, uh, and it is putting a strain on the entire society and, of course, also the economy and financial markets and so on. Uh, there were also bad news about the new vaccine. And the main reason for that is because the CEO of Pfizer started selling his stock. And that makes no sense. Why in the world would you start selling your stock in a company that just produce the vaccine for the coronavirus. There's a reason why everybody's trying to make a vaccine. Because there's so much money to be gained. And to be selling your stock when you just made a vaccine that is supposed to be 90% helpful towards all patients doesn't make any sense. That is not confidence in that product. Uh, because there are supposed to be billions and billions, technically hundreds of billions of dollars to be made by selling that vaccine. So why you did that, I don't know, but that is not a good sign for that vaccine. But or not, they expect it not to be to be um, to get accepted by the FDA or not. I don't know, but that is definitely something that is going to affect the markets negatively. Because most of this rally was due to Biden's win and also to uh, to the vaccine and, and the hope of the end of the, uh, the coronavirus. But we'll see. So at least the target is here is to trade uh, towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we have the 100 moving average right underneath. And if that breaks, we go all the way to the very lows. Um, this is a possible short uh, it's just very risky to short indices. I prefer going towards the very lows here in order to buy. Technical indicators for the S&P 100 are looking very dire. All of the indicators are basically pointing to lower prices at this point. So keep that in mind. So the Dow Jones is in a very similar situation. It is even more uh risky to buy it at this point this is definitely a sell i can almost guarantee that target here is uh 27000 or 28000 is basically the 50 moving average we'll find a little bit of uh, support here around the 20 exponential moving average but we are fairly overstretched technical indicators in the market are all turning around the hype from the election the hype from the a vaccine are basically uh, are basically gonna go away now and there's little or no hype left after the vaccine is out there apparently election is over and so on from now on it's probably just bad news and more deaths and uh, cases of coronavirus that is just going to drag this market even lower so target here is 27,000 28,000 and the very lows of 26,000. So if you look at the NASDAQ, 
we can see that we are working in a in the highs of uh, 12,500 and the very lows at 10,700. At this point, we have been rallying from the 50 moving average and then we pull back. Technical indicators for Nasdaq have nearly all turned around. So at this point, we are most likely going back towards the 50 moving average at 11,480. If that breaks, we'll go towards the 100 moving average at 11,200, and therefore, and after that, all the way down to 10,600. There is that not that much hype about tech stocks at the moment. It's just a feeling, a personal feeling I have about these tech stocks that we are running out of steam. Most of them are very, very overstretched and uh, and are very volatile. And that is not a good sign. There is not going to be either any real stimulus in the market for the foreseeable future. And of course, that is going to be very uh, negative for all of these indices and also all of these stocks. Um, technically, the political situation in the United States is... Uh, not good for growth. You, if uh, Biden won both uh, Chamber of Congress and Congress and also the presidency, then he could do a lot of things. But at this point, Senate is uh, Republican and uh, the representative House of Representatives is uh, belongs to the Democrats, and so does the presidency. And uh, therefore, he will not be able to push through the major. A stimulus packages which he was planning to do and of course that will be negative for these markets if you look at the tech stocks they are all looking very red today uh, not the double digits it's just zero point something but it's still a worrying sign google for example has rallied significantly is breaking down now technical indicators are all very negative for google so expect google to go lower target here is the 50 moving average at uh, 1,566. Facebook also working in the area of uh, 257 uh, and the very highs at 303. We rallied from the 50, uh, 100, uh, 100 moving average but pulled back now again and at the moment we are also targeted at 100 moving average. This is not a target that in, that in stock that is very interesting at this point. We need to pull back towards this lows or to very highs in order to, to enter this market. Indicators are technically flat. They're everywhere. If you look at Apple, Apple is just hanging around just above the 50 moving average. Nothing really is happening in Apple stock. There's no movement whatsoever. We have the highs of 138 uh, and we have the lows of 107. So until we break down towards these levels, I will be a buyer then. I won't be a buyer here uh, because we can go lower. And um, yes, this is technically just boring to uh, do a, to a, to a, to a, to a trade Apple stock at this point. You can see what happened here and now we're just trading sideways. So we need to go to the very lows in order to get something out of this. Microsoft rallied yesterday, pulled back towards the 50 moving average again. We are trading in the highs of uh, 233 and the lows of 196. So until we basically break the 50 moving average, move towards the 150 moving average, this is just a uh, stock that is trading right in the middle of uh, things. So technical indicators for Microsoft stock are looking very negative. So expect further down to turn further to the downside so um netflix was looking very promising we entered a, a buy here uh, a few days ago or two days ago and uh, we did quite well but we ran into major resistance at the 50 moving average and that was not expected uh, we may go rallying again tomorrow but we need to break this 50 moving average in order for a signal to the market that we are going to go higher and when we break this 50 moving average when we get the green candlestick above the 50 moving average then we are going to these very highs and then it becomes very interesting technical indicators for for netflix are looking are looking better they are turning around but this pullback was a very worrying sign so amazon 
rallied yesterday, pulled back today at the 50 moving average. And at this point, it is difficult to say where we're going. Of course, if we go to the very low here, then it's possible to buy it. But if we break the 50 moving average, then we are targeting these very highs. So it is to be seen. Pullback, buy, break up above the 50 moving average is also a buy to the upside. So, so there's no reason to short this whatsoever. Technical indicators here are turning uh, a little bit around to the to the upside. So it will be interesting to see what happens on Friday. But most of these stocks are, of course, part of the S&P 100 and also the NASDAQ. And if these stocks basically drop, then those indices will also drop. So keep that in mind. So hope you find this interesting uh, um, uh, analysis helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to come and join us over at Patreon if you want more detailed analysis and basically see how we are trading when we enter, when we leave the market, and so on and so on. So the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.